Hi everybody, this is Bulkit Shabda. In this video, we'll be discussing the next question of the round 639, which is B, uh, construction, card constructions. Okay, let's, let's read the problem out. The problem says that a card pyramid of height 1 is constructed by resting two cards against each other, as we can see in this first diagram, I think. A card pyramid of height H is constructed by placing a card pyramid of height H minus 1 onto a base okay uh, okay let's read further a base consists of h pyramids of height 1 and h minus 1 pyramids uh, h minus 1 cards on top okay i think let's say we need to uh, make make uh, an example has already been given let's say we need to make a pyramid of height 3 we'll take a pyramid of height 2 which is this one we'll uh, put it on top of a base a base means uh, a pyramid with h uh, you know a, a base means uh, h pyramids of height 1 you can see three pyramids of height 1 and h minus 1 cards on top two cards on top right so let's read the problem further you start with n cards and build the tallest pyramid that you can okay if there are some cards remaining you build the tallest pyramid possible out of the remaining cards and we repeat this process until it is impossible to build another pyramid. In the end, how many pyramids will you have constructed? Okay. Each test case has multiple, each test has multiple test cases. Uh, the first line contains T, the number of test cases which can be up to 1000. The next T line contains the descriptions for each test case we have an integer N. It means that we have, we had N cards initially. So we know that the sum of n overall test cases does not exceed 10 raised to power 9 and uh, the limit can also be put in 10 raised to power 9. Okay, okay. So uh, I'll be discussing the solution now on. Uh, you can pause the video and think it for yourself. It will be a good time to do that if you want to. So uh, let's just try and find what will be the number of cards that will be required to make a pyramid of height edge. Let's denote my f of h minus 1. Uh, f of h so we know that it will be equal to f of h minus 1 because uh, in the question itself it is specified that we'll need a pyramid of height h minus 1 plus h minus 1 because it says that we'll need h minus 1 cards at the top uh, you can see h minus 1 cards on top plus it will also contain h pyramids of height 1 so plus 2h because each pyramid of height 1 uh, takes two cards right so we can say that f of h equals to f of h minus 1 plus 3h minus 1 okay so uh, we can also simplify it further uh, let's say f of h minus 1 equals to f of h minus 2 plus thrice of h minus 1 plus 1 uh, h minus 1 minus 1 right that's just the rule that i am following so similarly f of h minus 2 equals to f of h minus 3 plus thrice of h minus 2 minus 1 and so on until we'll say that f of 2 equals to f of 1 plus thrice of 2 minus 2 that is 0 plus 1 oh sorry not plus 1 minus 1 Okay. Okay, it should not be h minus two. Uh, it should be just two minus one. Yeah, it should be just two minus one. Right. Three into h minus one. Okay, three h minus one is something that is needed. So I again make a mistake. It should be three into Two minus one, three h minus one, right? So now, if we, if I all add all these equations, we know that this will be cut by this, this will be cut by this, this by this, and so on. All of these things will be cut out. What we'll uh, be re remaining with is f of h equals to f of one, which is two, plus three into two minus one, plus here it will be three into three minus one, right? And by adding adding, we'll get 3 into h minus 1. So we can say that f of h 
equals to summation i equals to 1 to h i am sorry i don't know where to go yeah 1 to h uh, 3i minus 1 right so its summation can be calculated f of h equals to 3 into summation i right we know that the value of h is going it is going to be h into h plus 1 by 2 minus 1 h times so minus h so we know that the value of h is this uh, value of f of h is this now uh, we can observe here that the you know uh, polynomial value of f of h that will that we have just gotten will be of degree 2 right degree equals to uh, 2 also if we notice for a given value of n it will not be possible for us to make any uh, you know pyramid of height greater than 10 raised to power 5 because if we calculate the value of f of 10 raised to power 5 uh, we can see that 10 raised to power 5 into 10 raised to power 5 will be 10 raised to power 10 and subtracting just 10 raised to power 5 from it will not going to make any difference uh, make much of a difference so a value of f of 10 raised to power 5 uh, will be greater than 10 raised to power 9 but the values of n can be 10 raised to power 9 only so we can be sure that the heights of the pyramids that will uh, that you know uh, that we'll be able to make uh, are going to be less than 10 raised to power 5 only right so what i'll be doing here is that i'll be writing down i'll be making an array i'll be uh, you know filling the array with f values that means the uh, let's let's say the name of the array is f only f of l will represent the number of uh, basically pyramids not pyramids the number of cards that will be required to make a pyramid of height h then what i'll be doing is uh, i know that the array uh, f will be increasing only right because i'll be needing more cards if the number of you know if the height of the pyramid that i want to make is more right so i'll be applying binary search on it while applying binary search i'll just find what is the you know the the largest value of i such that f of i is less than or equal to n so such i will be the largest height that i'll be able to make right because an f of i plus 1 is greater than n so i can't make i plus 1 uh, I, I can't make a pyramid of height i plus 1 but i'll be able to make a pyramid of height i what i'll do is i'll just subtract f of i from this and increment by answer my uh, by 1 and repeat the same process until you know i can make at least one uh, pyramid so yeah i'll be following this process uh, for each test case now note that this is going to work because each time when i subtract a number from you know n i am uh, sort of you know subtracting the square root of n the square from it that's what i am doing because the largest number uh, basically h not not exactly root n but something of the order of this right so uh, let's just try and code it let's get to the coding part now Okay, first I'll be getting the number of test cases. Okay, and now before the test cases, I'll make an array f of size 10 raised to power 5 and for i equals to 1 to 10 raised to power 5. What I'll do is I'll say that f of i equals to f of i minus 1 plus 3 into i minus 1 right that's what we discussed the value of f of i will be this yeah so now coming to the test cases int n c in n right now let's initialize my answer by our answer by 0 now we'll be repeating this process while the value of n is greater than 1 because if the value of n is equal to 1 
I'll be not I'll not be able to make any pyramid but if not then I'll be make I'll be able to uh, you know make a pyramid of at least height one because we know that we need two uh, cards to make a pyramid of height one so yeah while n is greater than one I'll say I'll get the you know uh, the largest value of i such that f of i is less than or equal to uh, n so to do that what I'll do is I'll I'll get the first i such that uh, by first I mean the smallest i such that uh, f of i is greater than n and I'll say i minus minus right so let's say my int i equals to upper bound of f comma f plus 1 1 2 3 4 5 and n minus f so now this is the uh, smallest i that is basically greater than uh, such that f of i is greater than n i'll do i minus minus then i'll say n minus equals to f of i and answer plus plus right and then just print answer at the end let's try and run it one two one three zero one two one three zero yeah so let's try and submit it yeah it has been accepted I hope this is clear if something uh, doesn't fit well according to you you can uh, comment down below I'll try and help you this was it for this video guys thank you very much mm -hmm.